are featuring 25 um, people who are prominent in social media who are from or related to Oklahoma in some way. Okay. Uh, but really, my final question for you is, what is the future of your online persona or your brand? I'm looking forward to it. I really appreciate the opportunity. Sure. Have a, uh, have a good day. You too. Take care. Right. Bye. What am I getting myself into today? This is a lot of broccoli. Here's my food scale. I need one pound of broccoli. Nine ounces. Oh my gosh, this is a lot of broccoli. Almost there. There we go. One pound of raw broccoli. Yum, yum, guys. Okay, so I've always wanted to do eating challenges here on YouTube. I feel like I would be good at them. I've never actually done one, but I think I could demolish 12 donuts quickly, but I am cutting right now, right? So it's not exactly the smartest thing to do. It doesn't fit into my macros, but a pound of broccoli, I can fit into my macros. So for those that don't know, I'm going to be attempting the one pound of raw broccoli challenge right here. Eat one pound of broccoli raw. Three, two, one, go. I can already tell this is a bad idea. One minute in. Yeah, I'm already kind of starting to gag a little bit. I don't know if my technique should be to eat the biggest pieces first or save the big pieces for last. My mouth is just... It was just full of broccoli. Ugh. Ah. Woo. Ugh. Guys are starting to water a little bit. This isn't good. I am really having to stay strong here, guys. This is oh my this is tougher than it looks. There's no way. I don't know if I can do this. Come on. Focus. I'm six minutes in right now, just trying to keep going. Eight minutes in, I haven't stopped eating for a second. Oh. are watering that was a disappointment I was I was way too confident going into that and the thing is I actually like broccoli like if it had some dip in here maybe but just by itself oh, okay I don't recommend that to my worst enemy but let's see how I did so here is what's left let's put a bowl up here oh my gosh I barely got halfway eight ounces of broccoli Two nineteen point two. So that means I'm down a pound since Saturday. Today is Thursday here. <sighs> the abs and the obliques starting to make a comeback. Breakfast of champions right here. I have 40 grams of some impact whey. This is the chocolate brownie kind. And I don't know if my protein is just getting better flavors or they've improved their current ones, but this one is very good. And you already know. It's cookie time. One a day, usually. And yes, these cookies are really popular, but you have to look at the nutritional facts. So in like one cookie, you're gonna get 60 grams of carbs. But to me, it's worth it. It's a big cookie, and you get 16 grams of protein, eight grams of fat as well. 
So I actually have to go to the gym early today, so I made a really, really big breakfast. I've got 140 grams of apple, I have the cookie, some coffee, a banana, my whey protein, a little almond milk to eat the cookie with, and then here, these are Ezekiel tortillas. I got them at Whole Foods, they're pretty good. You get them frozen, so I just microwave them. I got some Beyond Beef, some cheese, and a packet of guacamole on there with sriracha sauce. Uh, let's see, what's popping on YouTube today? Nothing really. One thing that I am really excited for, guys, is Battlefield 1. If you saw the trailer, you know what I'm talking about. The music for today's workout right here. Watch the Throne classic album, five years old, which is hard to believe. So when I watched this footage back, the footage, it looked like the weight was light to me. 225, I should be able to get that for about 15 reps on a good day, and I just got five, but it felt heavy. But when I looked at the footage, it was like, hey, it's moving pretty good. I don't know why it feels that way. And then I moved on to dumbbell presses, and I was just like kind of the same thing here. And then I got to thinking about my training lately, and I've been back to the legs push-pull split. And then I was like, wait. When's the last time I actually took a deload week? And then it all clicked why my training has just been not as good as I want it to be lately. And it's because I haven't deloaded since probably Christmas or something. So I'm definitely starting a deload. So after the failed sets of bench press and dumbbell presses, just feeling heavy, my body just, it feels broken lately. I decided I need to just lower my ego as much as I love going into the weight and going all out every single workout and take this deload. So that is what this footage is right here. And I just figured this was worth talking about because we go into the gym so often and we always just wanna go and progress every single workout from week to week. But sometimes you kinda of just have to put that on the back burner so you can take a few steps forward. And honestly, my body lately, it just, it feels broken. Like I wake up and sometimes I'm still tired after getting like eight hours of sleep and I wanna be excited to go to the gym. And lately I've just been thinking, been thinking of the gym as like a chore, like, oh no, I have to go to the gym. So I need to just take some time out from the gym, go a little lighter, just reset, and then come back and kill it. Hopefully next week, at the start of next week, I'll be good. But here, let's talk about triceps really quick. So as I've been getting leaner, I've kind of noticed a little discrepancy between my long head and the lateral head and my triceps. So I'm going to be starting out triceps from now on, or at least for the next few weeks, with an overhead movement to hit the long head of my tricep and then move on to a push down to hit the lateral head from there. But yeah, that was pretty much it for the workout. I was only in there for about an hour just after realizing, ah, I am burnt out. Just wanted to get some movements in and then peace out from there. So if you guys are enjoying the video, you can give it a like down below. I appreciate that. And let me know in the comments, should I attempt some more eating challenges? Maybe not the broccoli one, but other ones. So I'm putting the finishing touches on this recipe video. I'm about to take it live and I have to cut this vlog short, but stick around because yesterday, when you guys are watching this, which is Saturday, yesterday, the 13th of May, was my sixth year anniversary from when I uploaded my first YouTube video. And I wanted to take a minute and talk about this. One, to say thank you guys. Like, how are you not tired of me? Like, six years, but I'm lucky you're not tired of me because I really, really do enjoy what I do. And I hope you guys enjoy the videos that I put out. But I wanted to kind of end this video by giving some sort of lesson because I am not special in any way, honestly. I was a kid that just wanted to do YouTube for fun. And it turned into something amazing. But the, the moral of the story that I would like to tell you guys is you don't always have to be the best to even get started. You don't have to be the biggest. You don't have to be the strongest. If you're passionate about something, and it's so cliche and you hear it so often, but really from my experience, I don't like to go out of my way to try to motivate people. I really don't because sometimes I feel like if you try too hard to motivate someone, it actually is very cheesy and very corny. But I speak from my experience and I like to tell my experience and if someone finds that motivational, that is good with me. So I was just a small 18 year old and I loved YouTube and I just started doing it and doing it and I put my best foot forward. And like I said, I wasn't always the best, but I was consistent and always 
bringing quality content or trying to bring quality content and you never know where the little effort can take you. So with that said guys, six years, crazy, like that. Time flies, I hope you guys enjoy my videos and I will talk to you guys next video. I've gotta take the memory card out of the camera, literally I'm gonna just plop the camera off, take the memory card out, start editing this video because I'm going out of town like I said, it's just a busy day. Peace.